And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Grixis Discard. This is, you know, maybe my number one deck right now. And, uh, you know, we've had a lot of success with it. Let's uh, try again, you know, play another league and see how it goes for today. I'm making one change. We have seen more green, red creature decks in general, especially those that have Carnage Tyrant. And those have been kind of a problem for us. And so I want an extra hard removal spell in the sideboard because I'm taking out the Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think we really need that Cry of the Carnarium, basically. We have a, a, a lot of Ritual of Sets. Um, basically, don't think we need it. And so I'm putting in an Eldest Reborn just to have something for a Carnage Tyrant, uh, something more. And then also Eldest Reborn is like real good in like Grixis Mirrors as well against uh, Is It Drakes. It is awesome. against Basically against decks that don't really have enchantment removal but have things that you want to kill. Uh, it is really strong. So I think it could be a versatile card for us. I think I like one in the sideboard there. I don't like our, I don't like having the curve too high. You can tell that by how I have even a duress main and have a whole lot of ones and twos. And, you know, our, we have a lot of fours, but four is basically where the curve stops. Um, and, uh, so in the sideboard now I have two other fives, but for the most part, really like keeping the curve low. Okay, so that's this is our deck, Grixis Discard. Basically, Grixis Control built around the discard theme with Disinformation Campaign. 26 lands. Check that, 25 lands in here. Oh, yeah, because we have the discoveries that help us hit land drops and campaigns do. So, yeah, we got the 25 lands. We'll see how the Eldritch Reborn does for us. And definitely using the Angrath avatar with our deck having three Angraths in it. Oh man. What do y'all think about this hand? Any land. We have two draws. We're on the draw. Two draws to draw a land. Any land, we're golden. Because then we get Search for Escanta, Discovery. <clears throat> Those will just help us keep hitting land drops. And we got the Thought Razor Disinformation Campaign. I guess I'm going to mulligan. Because against any aggressive deck, we're, we're pretty dead. Against non-aggressive decks, our hand looks really good. But against an aggressive deck... Um, we're going to be pretty dead. Y'all are saying keep... I forgot to update this stream title. Got a couple keeps, got a couple moles. I think we're going to go ahead and mole. I think if we had like a sweeper in here, like a ritual of soot also, so that we know that like once we start hitting our land drops with help from discovery and search that we can clean up the board and catch up, I would keep that. But the no removal. And it looks like we got a matchup where we didn't really need the removal. But we'll see. This could be Phoenix. It's Drake's. Don't need the removal as bad. No counter. No. Good. All right. Oh, Volkstar we played earlier. I'm sure it was a good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our hand's bad. Hmm. Alright, it's looking like Grixis midrange. Maybe not. I like... Or so I'm, I'm ditching that land. 
pretty interesting choice here with that uh, surveil for the land. Because if we take the land, then we can really aggress- we know we have four lands, and we can really aggressively ditch lands with uh, Discovery. But... But... So, so that's like the, the reason to keep the land. I did not keep the land because I think I want to fill the graveyard as fast as possible for Ascanta to, to transform. And so, got paid off for not keeping the land. Oh yeah, Dream Eater with campaigns definitely a good combo, yep. That is true. All right, so dive down. I'm just, no, they're just wanting to trade. Okay, that's, that worked out well for us. Uh, I guess I could have hit Thought Erasure. Ugh, don't want to just pay two life. No, but I'll feel bad if we do hit Thought Erasure. Maybe I should have just Ascanted first. I don't know, we've seen our opponent with all these Thought Erasures. I like the opponent not knowing what we got going on over here. Well, all of our contempts are at the bottom of the library now. Uh, these cards don't really matter. I guess this one. Cast down shock, couple dead cards. Glad our opponent's not playing Lava Coil. <laughs> they probably had, you know, they didn't have Lava Coil for our bolus because they were just playing Cast Downs and Shocks. All right, whatever the card that is, they like it. They kept it pretty quickly. All right, Disinformation Campaign. Eh, I'll take it as Kanta. I like that Ascanta actually shows you the cards at the bottom of your library. It doesn't just say put them down in a random order kind of thing. I like that. I always hate like Vivian, like trying to remember, all right, what did we plus through our deck with Vivian? They all went down to the bottom. Yeah, opponent found all, all them thought erasures. All of them. Hmm. So, Coil means we get to activate as Kanta. Ritual just gets this out of our hand. I'm just going to get this out of my hand. We don't get to activate as Kanta, though. But we get that out of the hand and, and, you know, actually kill something that it can. The fact that I have two Contempts chilling at the bottom of the library means that I'm a little worried about finding another con another removal spell if our opponent would have had a Crackling Drake. Can't really go wrong with Campaign or Angrath. While Angrath's likely better, we have to wait a, a turn to play it. So I'd rather just kind of get the campaign trail started. Angrath. Here this game looks pretty over. Monsters. I guess my opponent could find uh, Niv Mizzet. <laughs> that you're no fire, no steel. That's about all I'm kind of scared of by now. 
Dispersal does not handle Niv Mizzet. Because they draw the card in response to Dispersal, so they won't have an empty hand to, d to discard it. Ah, no. Too many game objects. Sorry about this. No fire, no steel. Yeah, I can tell it's lagging here. My stream health bitrate thing is going up and down a little bit. No fire, no steel. Like, like the OBS? Is the OBS the latest version? I don't believe so. But I feel like it's it's something else. I don't think it's OBS. I want to get rid of Ritual of Soot. I don't think I want Thief of Sanity, though. Let's get some negates in here. Would I rather have Duress than negate? No, let's play negate. Yeah, let's go with it like this. Because it's, it's like, because like whenever it lags for the stream like that, I can feel it lagging on Arena. Like my, my Arena lags quite a bit uh, there also. So I can, I can feel it here in Arena. So I don't, I don't think it's OBS. Yeah, it's probably Cox Cable. Yeah, I could see them having a lot of counters post board. I'm, I'm really just concerned about Niv Mizzet. Basically, Niv Mizzet's like the only thing I'm concerned about. All right, draw lands. You can do a deck. Not the best start for us. Okay. We're getting there. We'll just play Nia Legends. Hey, Candy Ninja. Yeah, we got we've tried playing Domri instead of Weatherlight in Nia Legends. I'm not I'm not sold that Domri is better per se. These campaigns are gonna wreck our opponent. Why are they still playing cast down? I don't have any targets for cast down. I have zero targets. Zero. You think I'm playing, what, Thief of Sanity or Hostage Taker or Rekindling Phoenix? Like all the people playing Silly Grixis Midrange are? Yeah, 
Yeah, if they're taking Thought Erasure, that could certainly mean they have Niv Mizzet. Uh, that, you know, they just want to protect Niv Mizzet, kind of thing. That could be what that's about. So, made him ditch a couple dive downs. Well, I guess they ditched one from a charter course. Hey, Rorark. And that's a matchup I would like to face all day. Just regular old Drakes. Not Phoenix, but Drakes. Why not play Bolas instead of Campaign is the question. Basically, Campaign just, you know, helps us draw more cards and everything. We just don't need to play the Bolas yet. I always like getting the, the campaigns going and uh, clearing out their hand. And it's just, it makes, campaign makes Bolas better by, you know, it's harder for them to hold removal spells and things like that. Like if they're, if they're trying to hold removal spells, they have to discard other things. And we just might as well, you know, keep drawing more cards where Bolas doesn't have us draw cards. Yeah, against that deck, I just took out the four Ritual of Sits. And brought in the Eldest Reborn and two Negates and something else. What else we got over here in the sideboard that I would have brought in? Bring in the Ral. I guess I, I think I brought in the, the Ral, the Eldest Reborn. And two negates for the four ritual of set. That sounds like what I did. Not sure if that was correct. Now thinking about it, that seems like that's a lot of fives. That's what, if that is what I did. So taking the skewer of the critics is kind of awkward when we have duress here. But we have the ritual of soot, so I want to incentivize my opponent to play a bunch of creatures. I could just try to duress and just see what that top that one card is, but I think I wait a turn. Wait two turns. The so doctor, uh, I'm not sure for yeah for so you're talking about best of one because you're saying how many wins per run is it for like the event to be worth it and you're asking four or five so I'm guessing you're asking about best of one because with best best of three here you just need two wins to. Two wins makes it worth it. You pay for your event, and you get you get like your three random cards. So best of three, what I do here, the two the two wins, you get your entry fee back, plus random cards. Uh, as far as the best of one, I'm not as well versed in that payout. I'd have to kind of look at it and everything. I'm not exactly sure there. So 
So we have 15 days until War of the Spark is on Arena. Two weeks from tomorrow. Almost there. Well, it's going to be a fun set for sure. I guess... I guess I could play the Duress first. They're not going to have like an instant that kills Bolas though. I just... You know, if they just have an instant I play Duress first, they just play the instant anyway. Yeah, we are 1-0. Sorry, I guess I wrote 0-0 earlier. Oh, that was weird. Whoa. I just drew the card right off the top. Whoa. That was crazy. That was crazy. Never seen water for your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, I think we're going to do a 12-hour release stream. That sounds that sounds good. Uh, you know, fill it up with constructed. You know, get all the cards right away. <laughs> I don't think very many ma matches in London are going to end on turn one. With the new rule. I mean, it's certainly possible that some do, but I don't think it's going to be too many. Hey, Weston. Thanks for that sub there for the third month in a row. All right, I'll, I'll help you out, Scott, with the pre-release. Um... What do we want to do here? Do I want to flip Bolas? And what, flip Bolas and put Chain Whirler into play? Or... Just cast Discovery Disinformation Campaign? Good. I want a removal for Lava Runner. Do they have risk factor? And so that's that's kind of the problem with duress there. If it's an instant, they're just going to cast it in response. If it's a land, then like the you know the duress is kind of a waste. Heck yeah, Wesson got that three month badge. Absolutely. Boom. All right, so they're at five. I guess Bolus is lethal next turn. Yeah. The bolus can attack for four and then Yeah, there we go. The Barnzo continuing that sub going as well. Welcome Barnzo. Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Alright, so let's kill him with Angrath, right? We can we can go chain whirler. No one can stand in my way. We could go Chain Whirler for that one, but we gotta do Angrath, right? Death means nothing to me. <laughs> Please run. A chase, no fire, 
No steel. I give. Oh wait, that's just game one. That's not, we're doing that. I had to give Angrath time to say the lines and everything. So all the negates, double moment of craving. I think I, I do want Ral. And we cut out campaign. Hmm. Take out one Angrath. Gets replaced by the Ral. And then... Uh, like some Thought Erasures. I think Duress may be better than Thought Erasure. They're just like the, the Surveil one, of course, is awesome, but. We have lots of removal. I'm not as worried about the creatures. I'm more worried about their spells. And so Duress hits the spells. And so just costing one mana instead of two is a big deal. So I think I just want Duresses, and I'm just going to take out Thought Erasures. Because we can't have too many discard spells because they do empty their hand real quickly. You know, like they're, they are mono red, and so. Just having a, a ton of discard spells means that we're going to be drawing them later on in the game where they're going to be dead. And that's bad. All right, Ritual of Soot. Worked last game. This is definitely the kind of deck that I wish we could get the whole thing at 3D. Disappointed by, like, how is Ritual of Soot not a 3D card? You know, it's like a, one of the premier sweepers in Dragon Skull Summit. Like, what are you doing? No Dragon Skull Summit? Come on. Good job, Matthew. You've been working all day. Love it. Yeah, they're both dead draws late. The Thought Rager, that is true. Thought Rager does let you. So. Thought Razor does at least let you surveil later, but the thing about Duress is, yeah, you can have it turn one, but you can double spell with Duress a lot easier. You can, like, on turn three, you can play a removal spell plus Duress them. You know, like, if you need, like, removal on two, like, let's say your hand has two removal spells and a discard spell. You know, like, let's say you have, you know, like, Lava Coil, Lava Coil, plus, you know, Thought Razor or Duress, where, you know, on, on turn two, you probably got, got to cast that Lava Coil, so you don't get to Thought Erasure. And then on turn three, you know, they play like another creature and you got to cast your Lava Coil again. You don't get to Thought Erasure. Where like Duress on that, it's easier to cast. Where like on that turn three, you can, you can use your removal plus cast it. So I like that one mana. It's it's real flexible. It it allows you to. It's better with like, with the shock lands also, because with all these shock lands, like you, your mana is not always perfect. So um, it can allow you to, instead of having to like shock in to play thought erasure, you get to just play another shock land in and play the duress. That's pretty big. Just have more creatures. Just go ahead. More creatures. There you go. It's not the best creature because that thing has that thing effectively has haste. How it comes in and deals the two. It's like it's like haste unblockable. Basically. So that part's unfortunate. That's But I'd like them to have more steamkins. Have all the steamkins you want. All the chain whirlers you want. Not all the phoenixes. Don't have as much for a rekindling phoenix. Ow. Rude.
No risk factor, no risk factor, no risk factor. No, no, no. Bad opponent. No risk factor for you. Alright, probably lost this game. On the play, we probably probably have this. Like, we don't take the other six damage there that last turn that we just did. So we'd be at, like, ten, basically. We would have ritual sitted the previous turn. Then they would have played that Pyromancer. would ritual sit again. Be looking a whole lot better on the play. But it's good that we actually that we got game one, so we can be on the play for game number three. Slowly dying. Yeah, our opponent is playing so slowly. <sighs> so they need to have nothing. We need to draw Contempt and Moment of Craving. Those are cards that gain life or negates. Be able to counter spells. Oh, there's a Wither's Lightning. That was a tough one. I liked our opening hand. Um, negate Ritual of Soot and Grath, I liked that. Then drawing other Ritual of Soot, drawing other Ritual of Soot. Not so much. See, these hands are horrible. We can't do anything with one land. <laughs> uh, you can keep your hand or mulligan. Could just concede and go to the next match. And that's how they get their wins. I mean, well, they're getting, they're getting this win no matter what, obviously. But it's a good strategy of people don't want to just use waste their time. Alright, Ascanta helps out. Ooh, I like that one. I'll take that. Thank you. So, basically, you know, Nicol Bolas is our best threat here. You know, being the fastest clock, 4-4 four, four creature. Uh, so we need we need fourth land and we need Bolas. Uh, you know, Bolas is what we're really looking for. However, if we do see lands with Ascanta, I'm probably just ditching the lands because, you know, we need to find Bolas. Um, so... Yeah, at this point, lands I'm just ditching. And going to be digging fast. Negates would also be good. Definitely take negates as well. Those are the two that two things I really want to see. And double land. So glad we ditched the blood crypt. Yeah, 
looks like our opponent just has all burn spells, which is really bad for me. So I have all removal. Double frenzy. I need to start doing this. I know their cards in hand don't really You're matter because they have Frenzy, unfortunately. The but Angrath does kind of put them on the, on a clock. It goes up to five. That ultimate uh, can win the game for us. So Yeah. But I probably didn't like all of our ritual of sets and just boarded out all the creatures. Alright, let's get every spell in here. So yeah, We Doc is asking about uh, Feather the Redeemed. Honestly, I... I'm not real high on the card. I don't think it is going to be really good. Ooh. Okay. No fire, no steel. Yeah, basically, so it's three mana, three, four flyer. Pretty good numbers. Not, you know, not like, like ridiculously good in standard or anything. You know, it's definitely respectable. But besides that, like the ability, you know, can put spells that target it back in its hand. But the problem is, is usually spells that target your own creatures in standard that's the problem is those cards are usually cards that you don't really want to be putting in your deck. They're not usually that great, you know, playing, you know, like whatever pump spell or, you know, things like that. Um, and so that, that's kind of the problem is that's not really, you kind of have to surround the card with cards you don't really want to have in your standard deck kind of thing. I wouldn't mind a land here where I can soot and have Moment of Craving available. So I'm definitely sooting, of course. Certainly getting rid of this. The, these last couple of turns have worked so well for us. Like this, is, this was an awesome turn for us to see for our opponent. Yeah, the last few turns have been really, really good. About as good as I could hope for. No fire. Like basically ever since no the Frenzy steel. came down, they haven't had any busted turn. And that was like a turn of them casting three cards and de doing zero damage with three cards, which is insane. Like that's that's so hard to have the opponent cast three cards in mono red and have the three cards deal zero damage. But that's what we just had. That's very very good for us. I'm not really sold on Masker Girl either. Like basically the with Masker Girl, five mana four four menace is below the curve in standard. That's not that good of a standard card. You know, looking at other you know, compared to like Doom Whisper and that new boar god we just got and like five mana creatures kinda need to be better than just four four menace. So you really need the the E to B effect to be awesome for Massacre Girl. Um, how much damage can I do here? Okay. 
and there's by the time you're at five and so like it gives minus one minus one and by the time you're at five mana minus one minus one uh, you know, there's not it doesn't necessarily kill a lot of creatures kind of thing can I kill my opponent somehow No, four, five, six. Need to do an extra four damage. By f and by flipping bolus, I don't think I can do an extra four damage. No, I can't. So what if I... I can do two damage? I can put them down to two. Yeah, I guess I can only get... I can only get them down to two. Gosh, this looks really bad for us. No fire. No steel. So I think I just have to sit back with Bolus and block for a turn and have Angrath ultimate win. I mean, I can I can kill them by just flipping bullets and stuff anyway, but I think I need to like make sure that haste creatures don't kill me. This looks pretty bad for us now. Right, if I... Actually, if I would have done that, Angrath plus, that's two. Attack with bolus, that's four, so that's six damage. And then... Flip Bolas, get Viashino Pyromancer, that's only another 2, so that's 8 damage, and they were at 10. I could have... Another way to do 8 damage is... Um, no, actually, that wouldn't have dealt 8 damage. I could have, like, just attacked with Bolas there to do 4, and then minus 3 to Angrath and untapped Bolas. So I could still have, I could just like attack for four and then put Bolas on defense instead of threatening lethal. Yeah, close. Frenzy. Frenzy's just a, a really hard card to beat, even with what happened there. Frenzy is one of the hardest cards for me to beat in this format. My deck's just a little too slow for Frenzy. Yeah, me too, Hairless Bear. I, I am glad we are going on to the next opponent as well. Because, gosh, was that match so slow. It kind of felt like our opponent maybe just had, like, a really bad internet connection. Because it took them just a really long time to do, like, anything. So, like, maybe it was just a, a really bad internet connection. That, like, everything was, like, super slow for them. JRC! What's up, JRC? Thanks for the biddies. Cheering for your favorite deck. Alright, playing against Grixis Dragons. So this is certainly a problem if there is Niv Mizzet next turn. Do not want to see Niv Mizzy here. Please no Niv Mizzet. Come to me. Alright, so we'll just have to contempt it. Have to draw the land. Ooh, barely got there. We need the black source also. But now dealing with now that we used our contempt means the Sarkin. Yeah, I did, did, don't have the contempt for the Sarkin anymore. So the Sarkin's going to be ultimating pretty soon. Which I guess Sarkin ultimate's really not that bad. I can just make sure to keep a Ritual of Soot in hand. Are you ready? Don't have another Niv. Come on.
doesn't get any better than being on the play and having turn four and turn five Niv Mizzets. Told me I should do this. We're not dead, dead. Depends on what they have. Love it. So, you know, we could flip the Escanta there, but like, what am I doing with that extra one mana? I'm not doing anything with that here extra one mana. So I might as well keep the Escanta here. Dang. Might as well keep the Escanta here so I get one more surveil here before I flip it next turn. Come to me! You will feel the lick of my flames! Perfect. No fire. That worked out really well for us. No steel. We are not dead yet. No more Niv Mizzets. Or Nickel Boluses. Or anything. No, Escanta Trigger is not actual surveil for disinformation campaign. I was just kind of calling it that. It's, you know, it's just, it's the same thing as Explore or Surveil. Um, well, I guess not Explore. I guess same thing as Surveil, but yeah, it wasn't. No, it just does, doesn't have a show you unhinged. an easy name. No fire, no steel. All right, Ascanta versus, versus Sarkin. I don't really love having the third ritual set at the bottom, considering it could be a Sarkin ultimate here pretty soon. I don't need this. I need this. And no, stealing Bolas and then transforming it is not a good idea. No fire, no steel. Woo! So basically playing our own Bolas just isn't going to work because they get to flip their Bolas. Oh, I should steal theirs and then cast mine and legend roll it away. I guess madness. I could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> what could madness. have been a good idea. Just didn't like how stealing theirs would have killed my no Angrab. No fire, no but steel. Guess that could be worth it. Oh, this thing's gonna ultimate. There we go, man. Ascanta is a good card. Just like all the cards you need. Like, what card do you want? Do you want a Bedevil or a Contempt? Here you go. Lag. All 
right, Elders Reborn, Ral, Bedevil, get rid of a couple of Ritual of Soot. So Elders Reborn and Ral coming in, two Ritual of Soot coming out. I play two more duress over the other soot. The problem is if there is another ultimate, I kind of, you know, like that was really nice having the soot for the ultimate, but I guess I just have to try not to. I I kind of want to keep keep good amount of removal in for Thief of Sandies. Like my opponent's not taking out their thieves. I'm going to keep more soots in. Just have a moment of craving instead of set. All right, final answer right there. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I need to. I'll re restart. Restart the client after this. Thanks, Weaseled. Thanks for helping out there. Take those. Leaving the Escanta on top where our opponent can't steal the Escanta. Perfect. Plan worked perfectly. Keeping the Escanta right where I wanted it. Um, yeah, we could kill the Phoenix. We really want to just campaign. I think they discard one of these two. Whew! Get rid of Niv-Mizzet, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, campaign. Mm. Sorry, Angrath. Okay, well, more Angrath's. Get rid of that last card. Ha! Another Niv. Perfect. Boom. Disinformation campaign. Such a good card. When you both are using discard spells, like your hand, like, even though they were using all those discard spells on us, their hand, like, those are all one for one trades, so it. Discard spells just reduce the resources in the game. So, like, we have left less resources to work with, So, but so does the opponent. You know, like, that was using a lot of cards from our opponent's hand. And so, you know, like, it was kind of hard for them to hit their six lands for Niv-Mizzet kind of thing. But with when we're both on less resources, a card like Campaign is, you know, just magnified. Its power is magnified there. And that's why I kept them in instead of bringing in Thief of Sanity. Because... If we're both on less resources, then one less for them and one more for me is, you know, is a really big deal. Thanks, Krakia, uh, Krakiasis. You said I played that really well. Thank you. The Naya decklist. You can find the Naya decklist in uh, on my stream decker right here. It has all the decks on there. You can find the Naya. Deck list from earlier. 
<laughs> yeah, our, our opponent was trying to be the discard deck that last game, but we had to tell him with the, the disinformation campaign, nope, we are indeed the discard deck. Basically just want to protect disinformation campaign. Huh. They could just negate campaign. I don't really want them to negate campaign. They do have black man over there. I just I have nothing for thief right now. So just gonna take that. I'll figure out how to try to play around that negate later. It is risky not keeping the devil for Rao, but let's we'll see if we can find stuff like Nicol Bolas or our one main deck Duress. Duress would be clutch. I guess our opponent could just slam another thief and then I don't have that bedevil anymore. Alright, so... Go ahead and just play the campaign. And uh, at this point, and you know, it gets negated. But then hopefully Angrath resolves now. Love it. Oh wow, that worked out well. Don't you dare spell pierce this. No, that would be game over. Please don't. Hooray! No, dive down. You're just fuel for no, the fires down. of freedom, Kerr. No! No. The right, fire's they out, but the embers burn on. Negate, dive down. Those cards are brutal. Alright, so Eldritch Reborn. This, this kind of deck our opponent's playing looks to have less, inf less removal, and I think that they'll have even less removal here after sideboarding. So I want Thief here. And I do want campaign also, but I, I guess guess I'm taking out campaign to fit thief. I mean, ritual sits out, so campaign. Is this too much removal? Yeah, it's probably too much removal. That looks pretty good. I think I like the two campaign there. Do I want a third campaign and two duress? Do you like duress protecting thief? Yeah. Maybe I want just three thief, three campaign. Split the middle, go the coward's way out. Have three and three. Not a bad plan. Steal their removal with Thief. Not a bad plan. 
Now we get to see which which three drops should we play. Um. So it looks like we're playing Thief because they're going to have Negate available. You get the removal spell. They scry that to the top really quickly. That's bad. No removal. So now if they play Bolus next turn to try to block Thief, we have Contempt for it. Whoa, Ditching Negate. Wow. What are all these other cards in hand? Negate is the worst one. Alright, fair enough. Hey, Hydro Kyle. So I, I like dispersal next turn of just like bouncing Nicol Bolas. Ooh, a battle! Come on, uh, my growl I don't like seeing. That's a good draw. So now, Bolus is played. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. Yeah, we just need more removal. Dispersal now only, still again, only gets rid of Ral, not, not Bolus. Yeah, we might be dead. Rao was awesome. Because they like minus minus Rao to kill Thief, flip Bolus, get Rao back. Like, how am I beating? Rao and Bolus. The weight is killing me. Our opponents do dive downs. Last game and this game were really clutch. So our what is our opponent doing? They're just like one. They're just keeping counter magic up, I guess.
Now, I, I have two Bedevils, a third Contempt, and an Eldest Reborn. I guess our opponent didn't see that line, so but maybe they're just holding up counter magic. I don't know how we beat Rel. Can Ascanta beat Rel? Not likely. All right, the devil, the devil. No. My power is boundless! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My genius is unmatched. Alright, Elder Shaborn. We get something good. <clears throat> yeah, the the two dive. It was really this game, this match was really about dive down. Game one and like the game one when we slam Angrath as our last card to steal Thief, but they're they have the dive down with their one mana, and this game having the dive down whenever we both had thieves. I contempted Thief. They had dive down for it. And then we had to use another Contempt on their Thief to get through. I, you know, looking back at it, using that second Contempt has looked My to be wrong. Like, where if I would have just, just traded Thieves and, like, played my campaign and saved that Contempt for a Ral, would have been a lot better. What is our opponent possibly doing right now? How do they not just kill my bolus before what is what is going on what is going on i don't know i'm i'm already like you know like most likely going to lose this so i might as well try Kill their bolus. I mean, if they, I mean, if they have instant speed removal, I'm dead. But maybe they don't have instant speed removal. Really?
So what the plan was, I was, as you can see, I was attacking Bolas, not the Ral, even though you're thinking, you may be, sorry, you may have thought that I should be attacking Ral to kill Ral. The plan was to attack, because Bolas is just the most important, and so the plan is to attack Bolas to put Bolas down to 7 loyalty, and then transform my Bolas and do the minus 3 ability to deal 10, and kill their Bolas and get the Bolas off the, t off the battlefield that way. Uh, and so then I would have a Bola still at 4 loyalty, and the next turn would be able to... And, you know, so kind of just playing around the counter magic we knew about our opponent having. The next turn being able to do the minus 4 to get a new Bolas back, either the opponent's or mine in the graveyard, and then, uh, you know, be able to flip that one and, and kind of restart over. But, you know... I don't think that's a terrible matchup. It's just, you know, the cards matched up well for the opponent there. I think it's just, it's, you know, pretty even. The, like we said, like the, them having those dive downs at critical times uh, was was really nice. But I don't think it's a, a terrible matchup. We saw, we saw Ral take over that second game. I mean, I, I could have also just had my Ral earlier, you know, like when I had five mana and it would have taken over. Um you know, if I would have had a Ral or Eldest Reborn, either of those would have taken over, or even the Angrath. Um, yeah, if I had if I had any of these Angrath, Eldest Reborn, or Ral early in the game, we win by just how that game two played out. Contempt, they dive down, we untap. If we untap and play any of those, you know, I untap and contempted there, uh, Thief. But if we untap and play any of those, I I can't imagine we lose. Yeah, so opponent just. Drew better than us is a mirror, and well, not you know, not obviously like a seventy-five card mirror, but just archetype strategy mirror. Um. Yep. Oh, so that's how it goes. Um. Yeah, both of those, both games we thought erasured away Thief of Sanity, and then our opponent had on turn four Thief of Sanity with dive down backup. Yeah, that ha that happened both game one and game two. So that was that was kind of the problem is we we thought erasured away a Thief of Sanity both times, and they didn't have any other thieves in in hand, and yet still both games on turn four they had they were able to with their four mana play Thief of Sanity and have dive down for my removal spell. And that was that was critical. Um, all right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Grixis discard. I guess the final verdict is I do like having this Eldritch Reborn in the sideboard. I think that would have been a really good card to draw. I like that over the Cry of the Carnarium. I do like that. Uh, consideration for next time, I am considering putting this duress over in the board and having one of these five mana cards, uh, one other haymaker in the main. But we saw there a couple of times. I, I do like that main deck duress, and it, it really did some some work for us. So not sure about that. But uh, you know, lost to Mono Red with Frenzy, which Mono Red with Frenzy, that's just going to be a matchup that's going to be really really tough. Honestly, this deck is not really trying to beat Experimental Frenzy. Mono Red, like whenever they weren't playing Frenzy, it's a little easier, but whenever they have Frenzy, it's just so hard to beat. We even got game one. <laughs> Didn't get games two or three, though. Um, but yeah, still a good league. All right, so if you're watching this video later on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I will see you.